New at 6, we've learned the company that Governor Nathan Deal sold his Gainesville auto salvage business to may owe the state $74 million in back taxes. Channel 2's Lori Geary now live in Midtown Atlanta. And she looked at the company's financial filings and got reaction from the governor. Well, Justin, the name of the company we're talking about is Copart, and we found the information about an audit Georgia's Department of Revenue did on page 14 of its recent SEC filing, information Governor Deal says he knew nothing about. I had no knowledge of it, for one thing, and certainly they will get no preferential treatment. We asked Governor Nathan Deal, who has all of his financial holdings in a blind trust, about this latest revelation on Copart. We were the first to report the online vehicle auction company bought Gainesville Salvage and Disposal from Governor Deal and his business partner, Ken Cronin, for more than $4 million. Copart is paying the pair $20,000 a month rent for the land, with the option to buy it at the end of 10 years for $4.8 million. We looked at the company's latest SEC filing. On page 14, the company says the Georgia Department of Revenue audited Copart for four years and concluded Copart owes almost $74 million in back taxes, including penalties and interest. The document shows the company is appealing that decision. When we asked Governor Deal about the issue, he says his office has no involvement. The Department of Revenue that has jurisdiction over this will deal with that case just like they've dealt with other cases. We also found on the State Ethics Commission website, Copart registered four powerful lobbyists in Georgia. Have their lobbyists ever lobbied you on behalf of any type of legislation for Copart? Uh, no, I didn't even know they had lobbyists. No, I don't know of any legislation that they've had an interest in, so uh, no, nobody's contacted me about anything. I also reached out to Georgia's Department of Revenue, a spokesperson telling me they have no information that they can release on Copart. Reporting live from Midtown Atlanta, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action.